each time when we meditate, we should start with thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for ourselves, goodwill for the people around us. To remind ourselves of why we're meditating. We want a true happiness. We've seen the pleasures of the world. And although they do have their pleasure, they also have their pain. We want to look for a kind of pleasure that doesn't have pain, doesn't have any blame, doesn't cause any hardship for yourself, doesn't cause any hardship for others. That kind of happiness is hard to find. And as the Buddha said, there are basically three ways of finding happiness that are blameless. One is through generosity, when you're giving of your time, whatever material things that you have that you can spare. Give your forgiveness. That creates a sense of well-being inside, and it's totally blameless. Then there's virtue, when you abstain from doing things that you might want to do, but you know are going to cause harm. And even though there may be a little bit of resistance in the mind, still when you look back on your actions you don't see anything you can criticize, because you didn't act on any unskillful intentions. I mean, we make our mistakes, but if they're mistakes that are made with good intentions, those are the easiest ones to clear up. So you want to make sure that you're always acting on the best intentions you can think of. And that requires the third step, which is meditation. Because we really do need to train the mind. Otherwise the mind goes running around in whatever mood strikes it. Because all kinds of things are coming up from the past. And then if we just go along with the, the general habitual reactions to those past unskillful actions, we just keep creating more and more chains that go around and around and around, binding ourselves up tighter and tighter. So we want to cut through those chains. As the Buddha said, there's, there's the action, and there's the result, and then there's the, the defilement. It's the defilement that causes the trouble, because then we start acting on those defilements, and then those actions are going to be unskillful. Because sometimes we do something good, and a good thing comes about as a result, and then we decide we want to keep it going. We want that result without thinking about what the proper way of creating it will be. And that gives rise to unskillful actions. Or we do something unskillful, we don't like the results, and then we start thrashing around. So we want to train the mind so that whatever results we have from our past bad actions, we don't let them cause us to do new bad actions in, in the present and on in the future. That way we cut this cycle. And in this way we create happiness for ourselves. It doesn't cause any harm for anybody. So this is what meditation is. It's taking that wish for true happiness and acting on it in the most skillful way we can, we can find. So you want that wish to always be there. The wish itself doesn't make things happen, but it does provide the conditions by which you can make things happen in the right way. So always make sure that that attitude of goodwill for everybody is firmly in place. And many good things will follow from that. <laughs>